They're right there. Do you want to give me one? It's your thing. So family time. Good morning, Baron. We're showing you my Good morning. How is everyone? So it's Wednesday, so that's hump day for many of us, middle of the week, and you're like, is it Friday yet? Has happy hour begun? Yes, it has. It's 12 noon and we're gonna dance with Shanti today. So happy hour has begun. So thank you for joining us. I'm so excited for our guest today. Shanti is joining us. And um, what else? Um, we're doing this Monday through Friday. As long as we are in isolation and quarantine, I'll be helping you to stay fit, bringing on some special guests. Yesterday we had Grigor Dimitriov, one of my friends on the professional tennis tour, and he was awesome. And he has awesome abs. So I hope that motivated you. And we've got Sean today, so he's gonna teach us how to dance, lift our spirits at the same time while being fit. So I'm gonna get Sean on. Oh, and you can go to 11bybenus.com and opt in to our email sign in to find out who our special guests in, what our workouts are, and what we're doing Monday through Friday at noon we work out. Hey Scott. Oh hey Mike. <laughs> did someone say happy hour? Yes, but did you, can you focus more on the workout? Carlos said hi too. Oh hi Carlos. Okay, so Gary. Live with oh, I have a lot of requests to go live. Thank you guys. Y'all are sweet. Okay, so um, I think we'll try to answer your questions today between like the dancing and cardio. That could be a little bit tough, but I think we can make it work. Uh-oh. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button here and it's frozen. I might recruit some help. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sean. How are you? Great. How are you? Very good. I'm so excited. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know it's been forever, but we're here now, making the best of it, right? Yeah, I've been watching you and the babies, of course, on Instagram. Really Thank you. Watching you on Instagram live all week. <laughs> I can't really hear you, though. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Is that better? Okay. That's better if you're closer. Okay, I'll speak. I'll be screaming because I'm going to be. <laughs> so I'll make sure you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Um, so we've been doing like since last week. Uh, you know Maria Conrad. She worked on. She did you know eighteen choreography. So we started dance, uh, kind of doing a hump day on Wednesday, like helping people get through Wednesdays, and so. You know, I thought you'd be great, so thank you for agreeing to be here. Of course. And um, I'm so excited to do some dance and some workout and be able to incorporate that. You know I love dance, and we know how much you love dance and how much you've done for people to stay active and to be strong and to be healthy. Yeah, so for me, it's I love that you love dance. I remember a few years ago when I sent you size because uh lisa Sorensen, who is my publicist was like venus loves to dance and i'm like i can't wait but for people out there who are just tuning in and obviously we're about to dance dance is such a fun way to exercise without thinking about the fact that you're exercising because while you and i have motivation you know obviously as a professional athlete there's things you have to do a lot of people have a really tough time dancing and what they don't understand with dancing you really lose weight in a really good way because you kind of stay in this fat burning zone because you're not going too intense, <clears throat> but you're also not, not moving at all. And then you stay more committed because the beat is keeping you, you know, the beat is holding you accountable. And so that's what I love. So, and the other thing that happens with dance, especially when you're starting and stopping and starting and stopping is kind of like uh, interval training. So 
believe it or not, you continue to burn calories after you finish working out when you dance at the level at least that we're going to dance at today. So these are the benefits of dancing for people out there who are like, should I try a dance workout or how does this, you know, how good is it? That's one thing. And then as an athlete, you know, we talk as a, prof as a fitness professional for a long time and a dancer, I tell athletes to dance and take ballet because it helps with agility, flexibility, mobility, your thought process. You know, you know, I love tennis. And so <laughs> obviously watching you play a lot. And one of the things I tell myself when I go on the court is I say dance with the ball. So people out there who play tennis, dancing is really good because it really helps with your footwork and your movement and your core strength. And so they're all the benefits that if you put your phone down and stick around and dance with Venus and I today, you're going to get. Thank you so much. I, I remember my dad had us doing ballet when we were very young. And it's, it's very challenging. That's all I can say. <laughs> I, um, I'm glad I stuck with the racket because I think my true talent was there. Uh, <laughs> But I love everything that you do also with motivation. And I was on your Instagram live the other day and you were just talking about being able to um, recognize your true self and be able to, to come out with that and be able to be who you are. And I really appreciated that because sometimes that's not easy. So uh, like you said, working out also helps you in that mental aspect, but I love how you take it a step further with helping people to to be able to confront any issues that they have? How do, you, how do you continue to motivate people like that? Yeah, I think that one of the things I always say to people, you know, we all, we're all going through something, or I like to use the term, you know, we're all in the closet about something, like meaning we're all hiding a piece of ourselves. So at some point, if we understand that I'm not the only one that's having some sort of issue in my life, and if you connect to the fact that everyone else out there is going through something, then number one, we can be a cohesive unit and say, hey, you know, like, I know everyone's going through something, let's accept people for who they are. And once people start to think like that, or once you start to accept people for who they are, it becomes much easier for you to be like, you know, I'm just gonna be who I really am. And the other thing I don't think people think about in terms of, like living your best life and living in your truth is that by doing that, you help so many people because, I mean, how many times have you gone through something in your career and obviously being in the public eye and gotten messages of people like, thank you for sharing that. Like something that maybe you didn't want to share, you were fearful of sharing. And so we have to understand that the things we're going through and being who we are really connects and radiates to other people and it really helps them become you know stronger stronger internally which obviously you know pushes out to that external but i, I like to say you know be 100 percent authentic to who you are because when you do that you're truly living you're truly expressing yourself in the best way and the more you do that the more positive you think because if you think about it if you're walking around hiding, not necessarily hiding, but, you know, holding a piece of you that's not, holding a piece of you that you should be showing, then that means you're walking, walking around not being yourself. And so when you start to walk around expressing who you are, you start to think positive because you become clear, you know, and you become clear to other people. So I just love, I love meeting different people. You know, you travel around the world. I love traveling around the world, different cultures, different people. We were all raised differently and learning about people. And that's the last thing I'll say. If you go into any like meeting or conversation and just be willing to learn that someone else is different, you have done great things with the world. I agree with that. And we, I think we have a lot of people agreeing too. We have Isha on. Hi, Isha. Hey, Isha. Uh, <laughs> Tanya from the A team. So many people agreeing with you, saying be authentic, loving all that. So thank you guys for the love. And that's, that's really great advice. Okay, so one last thing I'll ask you before we work out. Do you remember when you did Arthur Ashe Kids Day at the U.S. Open? And you were doing a dance routine, and I totally choked and could, <laughs> I couldn't come on and dance with you because I got too nervous. <laughs> I don't remember the routine, but I remember that, yeah. <laughs> I got too tight. I couldn't do it. So <laughs> how do you tell people to handle pressure? Because I regret that now. I could have been out there dancing with you. Like, 
first of all, when is our next moment to dance together like that? And second, how do people handle, how do you have people, tell people to handle that kind of pressure? You know, one of the joys of dancing, and I've, I've said for years, is that if I go right and you go left, keep going left. Because it's, dancing is expression. So for me, I wish you would have went out there and be like, Sean, I'm just going to be all wrong. You know what I mean? Because what I would have done as a choreographer, you know, with something fun like that, is if I was going over here and you were going over there, I'd have been like, okay. Like, you can still find freedom and pressure. Like, that's what I want people to understand when it comes that. to being under pressure. Uh, I, I use the term, find peace in turmoil, right? Like, when things get crazy in your life, if you find one moment of like, where is the peaceful moment here that can make me continue to thrive? So with you, I was like, y'all, we should just come out here and dance. Because I'm like, you know what? I would have been like, let's just do what you do. You know, like, I think that's the thing. Like, being under pressure is a really good thing, obviously, as you know, because it means you, like, there's something that you have to grow from or grow toward. But I also feel like, you know, there's so much fun in being under pressure. And it's a moment in time, you know? And, and just like you, I think you gave a really great lesson. It's like, dang, man, like, I really wish I would have did that. Like, I choked. Because if you look back, like, a year later, you kind of laugh at the fact that, oh, I didn't get this step, but I tried it, right? Mm -hmm. So as long as you try, you know, you know the term. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and continue mm -hmm. to try. But while you're trying, have a great time while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. I love that advice. I'm going to rewatch this replay of that for like a thousand times before I walk out on court. Like, there's freedom and pressure. So, all right. So, let's see how I do today, then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what we're going to do is I have my music. I'll have it playing. But if you can't hear me, we can also dance without the music. And then I can play the song at the end that we dance to. So, if you can't hear me, just like raise your hand. But I tested the music, so we should be fine. Okay, good, good. Okay. All right, I and can't so wait. For, you ready? Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's a moment of truth for me. I missed the U.S. Open, but not today. Yes. No motion. All right, while B is getting ready, everyone, what I want you to do is put your, prop your phone down somewhere where you can see yourself. You can see me. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so here's, here's the other thing I'll do that I'll tell you. One of the other things that I do is, you know, I have a little thing in my mind of what I'm going to do, but I also look at your body. So a lot of this I'll make up as we go along because I love, I love to choreograph by how people move. So that is going to be super fun. Let me make sure everyone can see me. Can you see my whole body? Yes. And you can hear me? Yes. All right, here comes the music. We'll test it.
Mark, get that burn, get that burn. <laughs> you got it. Eight more, eight, seven, six. You got four more here. Four, three. Let's just watch it out, watch it out.
gonna do it without music, right? But then we're gonna turn the music back on. We're gonna put both two eight counts together, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Here I'm we go. ready. Five, six, seven, cross it out. Here's one. Pull it back and push. Whip around. Hit. Pull it back. Two elbows here. That's right. Take the heel up. On the side, right here. And front back.
Yeah, your shirt is getting wetter and wetter. <laughs> How's that doing? Four times in a row, man.
Venice, you did so good! Thank you, that was so fun. And you made it easy. Because I don't dance every day, a lot of people don't dance every day, but I feel good about being able to actually catch on and actually get a workout. <laughs> Tell my coach, I don't know if he's watching, he's done my cardio. Yes, yes. Um, 
you have a good job. I just, you know what I like to do? Not to go like, you know, there's like, you can dance with really intricate dancing or you could do something that's a little more simple that keeps people sweating. And after two or three times, I get the routine and, and really go. So you did a, an amazing job. You got so many hearts out here. I'm so happy, it's so good. I was hard on her when we danced this past summer. I was like, or actually in the winter, I was like, come on, let's go. But you guys, you oh, both. I was like, I wish I could have been there. I know. I watched all the videos, it was so fun. I'm pretty sure we'll do it again next year or something. We have to, and we'll dance. We'll dance in person. We'll get you in a routine. I mean, I know I'm on B major. I'm not on the A team, but you know, I still give you some love. You know what I mean? You know, A is before B. Hey, okay. You hear that, Brian? I hope Brian's on here. <laughs> well, I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, and we'll do it again, hopefully in person. But yeah, you know, thank you for helping everybody stay active. Challenging time, so of course. To your family. Yeah. You too. You too. And you're doing you're doing great. Like just working out every day, showing people that you still have to work hard when you're not able to do the things that you normally do. I think it's you know doing what you normally do, which is like leading the charge and helping people. So continue to do that, and we'll be in touch. And thank you. Thank you. Thank All right. You. See ya. <laughs> so thank so much, Sean, for joining us. Uh, the gems we got from him today are find the peace under pressure. I love that. And um, what was the other one about pressure? That goes with pressure is a privilege. One of my favorites too. So you guys, and there's also freedom and pressure. So when you're under pressure, you know that you're doing the right thing, that you're going for your dreams. So now it's not the time to let go, even though we can't go anywhere even though we can't be with our loved ones, even though we can't be in the gym, even though we can't be in the office, now's not the time to just let go. Now's the time to hold on tight, you know, get moving and stay strong. So encourage everyone else to stay fit and to stay strong. I'll be with you Monday through Friday at noon. So you can see the all of the workouts we've done in my highlights. And you can subscribe to 11byvenus.com. Go to 11byvenus.com to opt in for our email updates. So that way you'll know who our special guests are, when we're working out, what we're doing. And we love you and we will um, keep you updated. So just hi to everyone who's watching. Isha, Tanya, Mia, Mike Rose, my friend Scott, and everyone else I didn't see because I was dancing. All right, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow at noon for more special guests and special workouts. Bye.